Today I will be showing you how I am turning this chest freezer, which I picked up at Costco, into a fermentation chamber for my home brewing. Before we do it, please give this video a thumbs up and please press the subscribe button. As I mentioned, we have our chest freezer, which I picked up at Costco. I also have my 30 liter pale fermenter that I picked up at the local homebrew store. And I also picked up this temperature probe off of Amazon. And we'll be looking at all these things in just a moment. All right, so now we have the chest freezer out of the box. Uh, looks like our estimated yearly costs uh, for it will be $27, but I'll be not, not be running it 24 seven because we'll be using the temperature control. Open it up, got these baskets, which we may use, maybe not. So this is what we're looking at in here. And it fits perfectly with your fermenter. With still plenty of room. So this is what I'm going to be using for my temperature control. Is an ink bird which I picked off of Amazon. Simple plug and play. We have a outlet for cooling, an outlet for heating. I'll only really be using the cooling. And we got the temperature probe here. Very simple buttons. A nice description of everything you can do with it. All right, so I've been having the temperature control running for about an hour or two now. What I've done is I set my temperature for 69 degrees because the temperature range for the uh, brew I'm uh, doing right now is about 64 to 72 degrees. So I thought that'd be a good temperature. And then what it does is it uh, turns on the freezer, brings it down to temperature, and then it shuts it off, and then it cycles back and forth. So it's constantly going up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, inside here I have my brew working right over here so you can see there's still plenty of room my plan is after I do a brew I'm going to keep the temperature nice and cool so I can store my beers until they're all gone instead of keeping them in my home refrigerator so I've been monitoring this last couple days Everything's been going great so far. The freezer and the temper controller have been maintaining a really good temperature. It does fluctuate just a little bit, but that's to be expected. That's how it operates. Um, just so you guys know, I have a link in, in description below for Amazon that shows you uh, where to purchase this. This was a total of $35. And then I went and picked this freezer up at Costco and the total of that was $149.99. So the grand total for this entire contraption is $184.99. And you can see inside, everything is still going quite well. And my brew is getting slower and slower, ready for bottling. Thank you very much.